And last week we looked at the sounds o uh and o. Uh. Today we're looking at the sounds p and b. Are you aware that some of these letters are not pronounced in some spellings? For example, let's look at these two words. Psychology. Psychology. Now the P there, the little P there is silence. Now let's look at this second word, womb. Womb. The little B is silent. That is a sound B is silent. Let's look at this. Debt. Yeah. Debt. Debt. The little B there is silent. So today we're looking at the P and the B sounds. Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Bridget. On this channel, I teach sounds, grammar, compositions, and all the problematic topics in English. If you want to learn more of these topics, please like, share, comment, and follow for more. Remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that as soon as I upload videos, you get notified. So let's dive into today's activity. We're looking at the sounds p where they are sounding and the sound b where they are sounding. If you want to be fluent in any language that you speak, you should be aware of the way and the manner in which the, a particular sound is sounding or is produced. For example, in some parts of Nigeria, we have some group of persons who really do not use the sound p or little p in their phonemes and so they tend to substitute the sound p for others. For example, some set of persons, instead of saying people, they simply say people, people, people. So the essence of teaching this topic is for us to be aware of the phoneme p or the letter p. The little p sounds and it can be found in various spellings or representations. That is, it is not only found with or associated with the letter P. Let's describe the P sound. The P sound is let's articulate it. P, P is a voiceless, bilabial, oral, plosive consonants. The sound can be represented in the following letters. In letter P, as in plot, plot at the initial position. We find the word, the sound P at the, P, at the initial position, plots. And then we find it in slap, slap at the final position. Okay, napkin, napkin in the middle position, napkin. We could hear the sound in the middle position. Now we can as well find the sound p in letters p, p as in a pair. Of course you can start with um, p, p when you are spelling. So we mostly find it in the middle of words. So we have it here as in a pair, happy, happy. Are you happy? Yes. And then we find it in letters p, h. Now, PH can as well be pronounced in some other phonemes, in some other ways, but we are pronouncing this as P shepherd, shepherd, shepherd. Now, let's look at where this sounds, the letter P is silent. It is silent in words such as cupboard, cars, cars, cool, sam, receipts receipts and so on so let's move on to the sound b b b of course this is one of the favorite sounds for children b they easily pronounce the sound b as it is found in many languages in the world where is the sound b found and how is it pronounced the b is a voiced that is, there's an obstruction in air in the vocal cords while you articulate it. Bilabial, of course, your upper lips and your lower lips will have contacts during production. So, b. Oral, of course, it is oral because it is produced through the mouth and not through the nose. 
as we are aware we have some sounds that are produced through the nose through the nose it is plosive of course plosive the, the sound is released suddenly during articulation it is found in the following letters in letters b and in letters b b bad initial position bad husband husband b husband middle position rib rib final positions and then we find it in letters b b stubborn b b stubborn stubborn now note this point we have the spellings as b b or p p the phonemic representation is going to be just a single sound that is b just b as it is transcribed the written letter b followed by letter t at the end of words or syllable can be silent that is we find a silent b at the end of words where the b is followed by the letter t for example we have the word subtle debt doubt the written letter b can as well be silent after letter m in word finals for example lamb tomb comb womb thumb thumb climb climb plum plumber plumber bom bomber bomber succumb succumb so we've come to the end of today's lesson on the pronunciations of p and b i hope you've learned something if you have more questions please put that in the comment section below if you want me to teach some topics that you find confusing in english please leave that in the comment section below and if you want a private section class leave that as well in the comment section below my email address will be attached to the description box below Please remember to like, give the video a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.